We're back. ATL 2024 Open Tournament Top 8. Hello, my name's Rip. I'm here to bring you guys the action English restream of ATL, of course, right here. AfricaTV.com slash Repaul. Here is the bracket. John Ding versus Mulgold. John Ding, Mulgold. John Ding, Ozzy Center, super good. Mulgold also Ozzy Center. Might get a mirror match there, but he also has the Claudio Mulgold. Also had another character. Who else did he bring out? Uh, he had one more. I can't remember. JDCR, though, of course, Dragonoff. CBM, we saw the Jin out of him yesterday. He has a victory we haven't seen yet. Lohai with the Shaheen and Shine with the Lily. Oh, that should be fun. And then Ulsan and Ni, you know, the classic ATL matchup. These guys were kind of going back and forth winning championships last year. Ulsan still on that Azucena. We'll see if he has something else. Uh, not today. I doubt today, but something else in the next few months. Because I don't know that Azucena is his character. And Ni, we saw a bunch of Dragonov, right? So JDCR and Ni, opposite sides of the bracket here. Mangja was our only hope. And he didn't really, he didn't make it, you know? It's unfortunate. Oh, I love seeing Mungja play too. We didn't even get to see him. He just didn't make it. He went through winners very far, and then he was uh, in the loser bracket. I think he got like probably 13th or something. So close to top eight, but just not quite there. Here we go. John Ding, Ozusena, Mulgold, not going to go for the mirror match, going for the Claudio. One of the things I like seeing about, uh, now that I'm paying attention to how to how people deal with Claudio, I like seeing what people do after they block his back one. Oh man, nice forward 4-4 four, four, homing attack there. Oh boy, trouble. Nice who? Mall gold smoked. Man, John Ding's Ozusena is giving everyone trouble. Back one. Well, I like that. He had such good space to Mulgold there. He dashed up for just a jab punish. But it's off the step. And everyone, like, well, so far at least John Ding. Every time he's blocked the back one from Claudio, he did, like, a dash into nothing. Because it's his turn, but he's not pressing a button. Wow, Rage Art versus the Heat Smash. Smart stuff. It's also interesting seeing the little icon underneath the health bar now for Claudio. He has Starburst available. Uh oh, 1 1 mixed time. Got him. Round three. Fight. Twin Pits in second hit, dude. Come on. Could have had him. Could have launched him. Yeah, and that standing three is so annoying too. John Ding very careful against it. After that standing three, it is either a high or mid. Middle wall spot, that one. Holy moly. Claudio, heat smash available. No more. Got him, power crush. Man, this character, as if he wasn't good at the wall, right? Like, I mean, just the amount of tools he has when your back's the wall is crazy. The power crush is super good. Lots of setups for the power crush. Bunch of strings to catch you off guard. It's rough. You saw a guy on Twitter call Claudio's hop kick an orbital. <laughs> Doesn't Claudio have some kind of orbital looking move? What was that Shaheen? I think that was Shaheen. My bad. This character's all the same nowadays. Dash combo, backswing, not going to be enough. 50-50, though. Good block. Wow. Damn, yeah, Mogul tried to gimmick him. He does have an, a 4-3 orbital. Damn, yeah, now you got me confused. Does Shaheen have one, too? <laughs> it's... Get ready for the next battle. Shaheen's is one, right? Okay. Clock just went one hour ahead. Not for me. For me, it's still the same. Still 12.09 a.m. for me. Wow. Running 3 2, and he did a hop kick? You got lift big to play big. I wonder if he could have float converted that. The back and mid of hers. Man, you see everyone just uh, freeze up after her. 
blocking? No, not blocking. Oh my gosh, impatient. Still has a good lead though. Mongol trying to get his health back. Good choice. Good choice to power course there. Like, it wouldn't have beat the Heat Smash, but he kind of used it at his face where there was not going to be time for the Heat Smash to even come out. Damn, look at the wall pressure. Just standing three all day. 22, size four counter hits, another one back, one block, dash up into his power course. I don't think so. You got to be so careful. And John Ding is being ridiculous. Right? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is happening, dude? Still alive? No, he's dead. He's dead. That was insane. Absolutely insane. I got to keep it down. It's past midnight here. I almost started yelling. That was such a good call out for the Rage Art from him. And he was defending against the wall so well, and then he just missed like that. Oh my god, Holder's running too. Damn, both heat timers. Okay. John Ding still has a chance for his. Damn, nice pressure there from Mogul just to not let him use any heat tools. Yeah, this, this uh, tournament is going to be a, it's a challenge for me. Try not to get evicted by making too much noise after midnight challenge. Double rage mode. 10 seconds. Not even going to matter. Damn, Mogul bringing it back. Great composure. Oh my gosh, I don't think he meant to do that, right? Did he? Did he see him step and be like, I'm going to hit him with 4-4-3? Four, four, Man, it's, it's so risky, right? And he does such a great job of dealing with the wall pressure and just slowly getting away from it. Look at him, he still has 90% health. His back was to the wall against Claudia there, and here we go. Set point, John Ding. Landlord is watching this 100%, dude. It's scary out here. Hey, eight. Ooh, he almost had that twin piston. Wow, the running slide. Mall gold. Gonna try to cash in. Nope. Johnny has done such a good job of checking. Is he dead? Yo, what is this? I've never seen that combo. That was sick. John Ding. Very nice. John Ding said that they were the two people he learned the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was around back then, obviously. The but battle. John Ding, when he first started coming to America, he, was, he wasn't struggling per se. But back then, at that time, the perception was that if a Korean came to an American tournament, they were getting top eight. And John Ding wasn't necessarily getting top eights. He would get like maybe top 16 or something, right? But it wasn't a sure thing that this guy would get top eight. I'm talking like this is before we started getting tons of travelers thanks to TWT and etc. JDCR though, off to a good start. Damn, down to one hit. Went straight for the heat first so they can activate heat. JDCR doesn't care. Didn't they all get like top of the Evo 2017? I don't remember. It's possible though. Nice hop kick. Hey. Wow, counter. That's so cheap, dude. Imagine if Dragonov's down two was a counter hit launcher, you know? He was spending too much time at the gym, not enough time in the lab. It's actually the opposite. Like, back then, he wasn't as big. You know, he was a smaller dude back then. He's a bigger dude now.
Yeah, look at the chip. Chase here, a lot of grace. Spends the heat first, also can't get his life back. Unless it's from offense, finds the heat smash, doesn't need the health back. Yeah, Gilkey was right. Big Jim, big wins. Whatever the hell Gilkey said earlier. Oh my gosh, it was a nice attempt. It was, it was a pretty good attempt. I think that was like a knocked us down for two range, but it's just Jin with his off kick, right? Not as far. Damn, good breaks. Yeah, Heat Fist has incredible range. He went for the Rage Art here. No, definitely not. Throw Punish for the Rage Art. Look at JDCR adapting to the new Tekken game. Feels like Dragunov can lose a whole match, then all of a sudden hit dude for 60%. That's a lot of characters in this game. Especially if you have heat available, you can just add on an extra like 5% to your combos pretty easily. Chat on the left side is so trippy. Yeah, if you guys are new to Afrika, you guys can hit S on your keyboard for cinema mode or find it next to your full screen button for cinema mode to get into dark mode. So you're not flashbanging yourself after midnight. Oh, nice. Good block. There's the launch. Ooh. He first. What's the thumb even do? I think it makes people come watch. Wow, just challenges. Smart. Good choice, CBM. This is the second match of the night. John Ding beat Mulgold in the first one. Yeah, Wild Stand 2 on hit. Demon Paw. So it's a good tool for Jin. Yo, CBM is looking sharp. Oh my gosh, JDCR tried to interrupt in the middle. That's the beauty of new moves, man. People don't recognize it. They feel like there's an opportunity to interrupt. It's like using JDCR's skill against them. Wow, it's CBM two rounds up here. Hold this back, what was two? Oh my gosh. I know QCF4 is guaranteed after that. Doesn't duck the third hit high. Wow. Again. Damn, his execution is so fast. All right, heat first. Tiny bit of health back. Spends the whole heat already? I don't... Wow, what in the world? That was, uh... That was something, CBM. That was something. Did he think JDSR was going to challenge after a heat dash? That's, that's pretty wild. He has a huge Hail Mary. JDSR now has a round. Wow, step back one plus two. A little punish. Damn, armor the armor. Hey. JD's got the life lead now. He's going to get the wall? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. And here we go. Set point for JDCR. I don't know if he was trying to hop kick there or forward forward, but he got stuffed out either way. Wall carries good. Still has heat available. Oh, no. Well, gets out of there. All right. You have to guess there. Guess it correctly. Last pixel of heat. Spends it on the dash. The hop kick challenge, not enough. He's got health. Doesn't get a chance to use it. JDCR with the 3-0 from behind. Very nice. I think I'm going to be going to the movies tomorrow, watching Dune 2. Finally. 
What's so bad about Nizaz awesome. Center? You gotta go watch the VODs. It'll be on YouTube later. YouTube.com, level up your game. Here we go. Shine with the Lily. Yeah, I'm gonna go see an IMAX tomorrow with the family. Wow. Watch it twice, I might. Good interrupt shine. Oh, heat dash combo. Man, that's good. That's good. The wife fell asleep. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like my kind of movie. I fell asleep in Dune 1 twice. <laughs> so maybe I'll do the same in part two. Good down for two challenge. Twice, what woke me up? Some loud noise. <laughs> Running slides, man. Damn. Man, that actually is it super fast. And Shine is keeping the pressure on. He's just smothering them. Not really giving them space to work with it. Oh my goodness, underneath. And now Shine with a tiny chance. Has heat now too. Spent on the heat dash though. Nice blocks from low high. Wow, good defense. Wow, I'm very aware there too. Recognize the knockdown position. Counter confirmed, just a little jab. Man, the high, the speed that they're playing is pretty wild. Like Shine went back turn, Lo High checked the back turn. Shine knew he was gonna check the back turn, so he turned right back around. I was like, damn. Heat dash conversion here. Voila. Can we get him to the other wall? I don't think so. I think we're moving off axis. Booted. Homing attack from back turn. I'm pretty sure after the second hit of that homing attack from back turn, you can actually sidestep it. But here we go. Five seconds. Shine the lead. Low high with the rage art, dude. The classic. They're playing Tekken 8 speed. You got it, man. You got to step on the gas in this game. You watched Madam Web and couldn't keep your eyes open? Oh, boy. I heard one of the views I saw from Madam Web was like, you know, I think I owe Morbius an apology. <laughs> Damn, final round situation. Lohai bringing it back. Using the heat first for a bounce situation. Get wrecked. Hop, kick, and wake up. Man, Shine, those big lows are not working out. Lohai's reaction's on point now. Life bar's about even. Lohai with rage. Shine with rage. He's still on the side of Lohai, though. Hasn't even activated yet. There's the burst. Life bar's still close. Ducks the high, dude. You can't give him an opening. Shine gave him one opening, and Lohai capitalized for the win. Three rounds straight. Nice comeback. See you later, Carmi. Have a good night. We starting late tonight, 12.30. I think this is probably going to be like a four to five hour stream right now, I'm guessing. And I might be on Final Fantasy again in the morning. We'll see. JD, Ni, and Lohai all peak again. That'll be tight. It could happen. Lohai's keeping the P1 win streak alive. Get Punk out here. Let him check both monitors. Tell us what side has lag. Oh, boy. Yeah, the new TWT rules, if you guys haven't heard. Random stage, always. Always, always random stage. Cannot enforce that in an online tournament because they decided to take off the question mark for some reason that they implemented in Tekken 7.
Mm -hmm. Look at the damage in that. It's like 25, 30%. And Shine in this situation with the amount of health that Loai has, a heat dash, oh, doesn't even need it. But I was gonna say a heat dash will add extra chip damage. So you can just put them in a forced one hit situation. It says random at the bottom? Oh, I didn't see that. There's a word? That's cool. It only says random in rank, but not in session for some reason. Oh, that's lame. Hop kick. What in the world? Perfectly timed. Yo, in the sidewalk. Dog, Shine got so lucky there. He went for the same move that got him killed at the end of round one, too. Her 10 frame punish, so. Risky business from Shine. But he's trying to use it as a whiff punisher. And that was... Wait, did he go to character? He's going to character select. Steve Fox? Lohai bringing out Steve Fox. All I have heard is that Steve Fox is one of the worst characters in the game. Everyone is saying that. All the Steve players are like, man, I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. This character is no good anymore. So this is an interesting choice here. Is he going to hit the Lionheart tech? Yeah, it's like a Plink situation. Law has the same kind of thing off of DSS into run up grab, but... Yeah, I've seen very little Steve, too. Low parry's good. Guess the wall boom. Spike situation. I don't think so. Bing bang. Boom. <laughs> I thought he was going to do 1-1-2. One, one, Steve at the walls of minutes. Hold this Matterhorn, dude. Shine is a monster. Matterhorn? Oh, man. That's the first time he didn't block it. Got him with the mix. Uh-oh. Lohai's cracking. Lohai had a 70% lead in that round, by the way. Ooh. Convert. Gets a tornado. Doesn't get the wall boom this time. Now my teacher need to mix. Lohai looks like he second guessed himself and now his back's to the wall. Gotta be careful. Shine with rage. Sonic fan got him. Okay. Okay, okay. This game is so volatile. You can have a big lead and everything can just swing away from you so quickly. Especially with rage and heat. Step hop kick nice. All right, 90%, make it 100. 100% lead for Shine, and here we go. Set point. Sure you can. Mm -hmm. All right, another 60% lead this time for Lohai. Tries to pressure. For Rock Launcher doesn't get it. One plus two throws there. Power crush block, mix. Heat first time, trying to, oh man, it's risky. Yeah, I don't know if I like this heat spend from Lohai. But got the guard break. It's not enough damage. Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter. Final round situation. Final, final round situation. Eight. Hey. One plus two throw. Keep him guessing. Oh my gosh, he's got to be so sharp on defense. Damn. Got the hop kick, got a shine. Got a little punish off it. Small lead. Shine, though. Spending the heat early in the round here. Catches him. Heat dash. Pick it up. Oh, my gosh. Look at this combo. Hell of damage. Big lead for Shine. Mix at the wall. Doesn't get it. Low high slash heat. If you can find a heat engager, he'll get back that great, too. One throw. No. Boom. Back one. 
Wah, Steve sucks. Tornado, heat, you're dead. The fox. Steve Fox. Steve down players in shambles yet again. Knee's gonna bring out his lawn spam. 0 4 3 and nunchucks? Somehow I don't think so. Azucena versus Fang Wei, not Dragonov. Okay. It's business day for Knee. Yaiba. Wow. Block 3 3, immediately running 3 2. Gets a grab too. Oh man, he was stepping right too. Oh my gosh, this round is beat down. And you know, I do like that heat burst that he did there. It's one of those situations where if you absorb anything with the heat burst and it hits them, it's just the damage that it outputs as armor is good. Counter. Mm hmm. Damn, back and throw mix. Ulsan is playing at a very high speed today, too. What in the world is that move? I don't know, and apparently neither does he. Damn, great punish. One, two, and look at this solid quick two rounds for Ulsan. Steps the down back four. He stepped right again, too, right? That's what I was thinking about. Oh my gosh, what an orbital. And this time, Ulsan going to the left for Fang. Got him back, turn mid, and that's the game. Game one for Ulsan. Three rounds straight over knee. And, you know, he had, like, 70% health there. I was like, didn't he get the first launch there? <laughs> what happened? That's an orbital? It's basically an orbital. I mean, it probably has a better name. It's probably, like, a coffee filter or something, you know? But... Jumps to over lows. Safe. Launcher. No one forgot about Ulsan. I'm impressed with it right now, though. I'm also surprised that he's... That uh, Nii is sticking with Fang here. But Fang is his main main. Oh my goodness, this is beat down, dude. Wow. Wow. Four rounds straight. Down forward two call out. He's not looking too good. I mean, I think he I think he's trying. I think that's what the fang is for. I think right now Ulsan just has all the right reads. There is the slight step left to get around that running 3-2. He like flash duck too. He was standing and he was whiffing. Give me a second. He's just warming up, guys. Wow, you in shoulder in the middle of that? I thought he would have. Doesn't matter. Wild standing for. All right, knee on the board. And he's blocking too much. He's playing Tekken 7. Oh my gosh. I mean, you got to adjust to the game, right? Oh my, speaking about adjusting to the game. Look at even Ulsan, after ducking that, he only went for a while standing four. And look, see, getting the launch in that is so stupid hard. Like yesterday I played a fan and they said that it's possible to launch it, but it's really tight. And even Ulsan missed it there. Uh oh, and he's freezing. He's freezing, he's got heat. Running 3 2, he's not gonna let him. Boro! Oh my god, set point for Ulsan. I held my breath because I know that that running 3 2 from Azusan hit so fast. But like, if the Rage Art hit early enough, then it would have been okay. But running 3 2 from Azusan, it just seems to beat things in slow mo situations or armor situations. Damn, he ducked and just got a back one. Punish that. 
Bro, that was crazy. The read that Ulsan tried to make there, he survives here with the armor. All right, both players. Heat active. Down back three counter, knee still alive. Erase that move. You can, that move is not the issue, honestly, with Azucena. Like, I think you can deal with it. The problem is the way it's like this. You can deal with it just like that. The problem is he didn't launch it there. But once you start dealing with that, that's what comes out. The homing attack, forward four. Good back one, solid. And no throw break with the one plus two knee. Ties it up one game each. It didn't look like that was going to happen there. Feng has all the tools, man. He's a very well-rounded character. You don't think Nii is used to the heat mechanism yet? Mm, I haven't really noticed how he's been using it. Let's see. He was ducking a ton early. I mean, the thing is, to get around Azucena, you want to sidestep right to avoid her, like, neutral pokes. But then if she's going to do the running 3-2, you want to go left. And if you go in either direction, forward 4 or homing attack is a heat engager for her. So defensively, you're just kind of making guesses and hoping it's going to work out for you. This stage again. Getting that hit off the heat versus great. All right, here we go. Who's going to use heat? Knee does it. And that's a situation where you try to use that chip to your advance with one hit situation. Didn't get it. Stuffs her. Heat smash with jabs. Knee with the first round and the lead now. Ulsan has slowed down, right? The pace that he was playing at from game one is gone. Mm-mm. Ooh, good sidestep. Back it up, back one, counter hit. Yo, okay, Ulsan, he's picking up the pace. You know, if Ulsan plays at like a super high speed, he's very capable of that. And I, I don't know if many players can rise to that level of speed. He drops the combo. I thought he was going to win the round, but now opportunity for Nii to close out. Not like that. Jeez Louise. All right. Ulsan has a chance now. Look at that. That's all he gets. That's crazy. He's too scared. Look at it. Told you. Running 3-2, you can avoid it. He's done it three times in just his first of two. Hey. Doesn't get it. Oh my gosh, he's bashed. Stance cancel. Did he? What are you doing, brother? It worked. What is knee? Why is knee even feeling like he needs to use this rage art? I mean, I guess he's got the round count lead, so he doesn't really care if it if he loses it. I don't know. Counter hit down back three. He's gonna win because of it. <gasps> the pixel. The. Wow. He's gonna win because of it. <laughs> Here we go, Mulgold. Back to Azucena. Claudio didn't work out a winner bracket, brings back Azucena for loser bracket. And CBM. I'm assuming Jin? Yes. Can Jin parry Azucena's running 3 2 as the second to get him or something? I bet it max when he gets it. No, he cannot. Yeah, I didn't 
Didn't seem like it would be possible. Wow, what a choice. Oh my gosh, heat smashed. Oh, because it's an aerial move, you can't parry it? Man, that sucks. These new rules, man. Still breaks my brain. Oh boy, Demon Paw. Heat Engager with the Wall Splat. Interesting combo. Did he even use a tornado? I don't feel like he did. Oh man, he's gonna pay for it too. This combo is tight. Look at this wall carry with it too. Oh my gosh, dude. That combo is crazy. Did he hit a button? No. Bro, this is the... M Wait. Okay, I was, I was scared it might miss. Like, he was too low, right? But even without going to animation, still hit there. So he's okay. But specifically with Azucena now, we kind of got to watch out for the Rage Arts because she's got a weird one, apparently. He tried to play Tekken 8. I mean, just think about just today, though, in this top eight, how many how many times we've seen players throw out Rage Arts. Like, need throw it out two or three times. It's like, having the ability to hit the brakes on your own offense is going to be important if this is how people are going to play. CBM's been throwing out a lot of them, too. Yeah, exactly. It was CBM, too, wasn't it? Does that mean that Paul does not powerbomb King's Frankensteiner? That is a good question. Did people play this at the start of Tekken 7? It's been too long. Tekken 7 Rage Arts were hilarious. I remember that. Because everyone got hit by them. Like People weren't used to the concept of supers existing even. It's such a foreign concept. Of, look at the sidewalk left there. And that time he got lucky because the wall kept her close. Like if they were in an open stage there, she would have just flew past. He cannot reverse King's Frankensteiner. Was that a change from before? I remember. I don't know if that was in Tekken 7 still. But I do remember King would do the Frankensteiner and Paul would like grab him and do like the jumping power bomb. Or would it be just like a quick power bomb down? I don't remember. It's one of the two though. Getting rid of chickens is the worst thing about this game. It actually doesn't make sense. Like why not just make it even harder? Right? Like, it's like, oh, we don't want you to be able to chicken because then these counters are less effective. They want the counters to be less effective in the first place. And then they also took out the chickens. So they made the counter more effective by taking out the chicken. Like, what? Make up your mind. But yeah, I do. He said that just left chickens in, but make it so that it's like super tight. Like, near impossible, like, you know, counter hit throw kind of situation. And they really should have... You know how there's a big old spark when you use a throw against power crushes? There should have been a spark for counter hit throws. Like, visually recognizing when a throw is actually a counter hit and you had a smaller throw break window? Like, there's, like, no tell, really. It's kind of like, oh, I think he was doing a button, so it's probably a counter hit throw. But you don't actually know. They nerf counter so hard, I think it's okay that chickens are gone. But against, like, uh... I see what you're saying. But I feel like they're still pretty good for, like, June and Asuka, no? Is a new hit spark that shows on counter hits, including throws. Huh, I gotta look for it. Oh, 
Oh man, this is a terrible position for CBM for the one three twos. Yeah, I deal with this is a pain, and oh my goodness, I feel like John Ding hit him with that yesterday. Now he's like, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, he got trapped positionally. Steven Paul Day, damn forward four three. I never believe that that's what Ozzy Center players mean to do, but they've been using it a lot, so it's got to be right. Oh my gosh. And this is how he plays her. He's so much more obnoxious with the running three twos. He takes advantage of what's good with the two four for the wall splat. Doesn't go for the hard wall break. He could have done like heat first heat smash to get it. And then I guess it wouldn't have been enough damage. So smart choice, but gets caught by the heat smash. Mulgold gets game one. Oh, is that two? Damn, I missed game one. I was talking to you guys too much. The music is dope. Yeah, rough day for KDF. It happens. They have the most to, to learn, right? Ulsan with Dragonov? You know, this makes more sense. Oh, gosh. No throw breaks, dude. You don't need to throw them, too. Also, the 1 plus 2. Oh. Damn, this is beat down. Just the amount of dragon, dragon, just the amount of damage that Dragonov dumps out on you is crazy. Wow, beautiful little sidestep right there. Avoided the down back three plus four. I said little sidestep right, but it's Lily, so how little could it have been? Damn, two throws on Ulsan. Interesting. Wow, good jab. But combo damage is not going to be good here unless he can get to a wall, and he does. New wall string. Oh my gosh. Well-timed heat smash. You know, those kind of heat smashes are always so funny. Damn, man, the dash, low parry and accident. Doesn't matter. He got it. Whenever you hit a heat smash where you're just like in neutral with someone, you just hit the button and all of a sudden they get blasted. It's so funny. Because it's not like a rage art where you just hit the one button and then there's a big freeze and then you see what happened. Heat smash is like I hit the button and boom, instantly you're, you're flying through the air. Oh no, second hit. Damn, Shine trying to get him a duck. Not working out. He smashed Ben. Double rage. The throw is right back at ya. Olson 1 0 over Shine now. I think I like Dragonop for Olson more than I like Azucena for Olson. And yeah, obviously, Afrika works in the USA. That's where I'm streaming it from. That's where most of our viewers here are from. Round one. The amount of dragon, Dragonov drags. <laughs> There's a lot of Ds for Dragonov. That didn't sound right either. Hey. Dragonov is the better character after all. Yep. I mean, Ulsan, I don't think Reyna is his tournament character yet, I think. But it might be later. Who knows? Beautiful whip punish. Could have had better, but okay. It's fine. He closes it out. Hey. Damn, back four and a back four. That is doing so much work for him. That's got to be like 20-something percent. Like 25, probably. And Ulsan's been hit by it twice already. Ouch. Damn, it seems like... Oh my gosh, Ulsan. 
he didn't hit a button, did he? <laughs> what is going on at the Rage Arts today, dude? Round three. Fight. Although, to be fair, the majority of Rage Arts we've seen are from players on the loser bracket at this point. It's an online disease. Aggression just draws it out. It is. That's definitely what's happening. You see someone being so aggress aggressive towards you with their offense, you're like, all right, I'm just going to use a Rage Art to stop him in his tracks. And here we go. Set point for Ulsan. Third hit, counter. Confirm any heat engager. Back 4 3. Eight. Now for the one checks. This is so much better for him than Azucena. I hope he, well, I was going to say, I hope he sticks to the character, but honestly, this character may not survive in its current state for much longer. But Ulsan getting the dub with Dragunov. You know, he doesn't look like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah. JD Star is looking at John being like, Reyna? You play Reyna? Again? All right, bring it back to Reyna. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Azucena, but all right. Interesting choice here. Round one. Fight. Let's see what he's got. One, one, two, spin Rooney, boom. Had a feeling. Oh my gosh. John Ding might just be a master of new characters, bro. <laughs> like, you know, Lucky Chloe, what the hell is this character do? I'll show you. Azucena, what does she do? I'll show you. Reyna, what does she do? You'll see. <laughs> you know, like, come on. Dude, he perfected him so easily. Went for the grab again. JD's like, no, no, no. I know it's unbreakable. I'm just going to duck it. Two throw. Here's a breakable grab. Hold that. Random pressure is good against Dragonov. Well, in general, if you pressure Dragonov, he doesn't really have many get off me tools. Like, it's one-to-one -one counter it. Good heat engage, you right? 10 frame, but... It's not like a really good low crush. He's got, like, his up 4-4. Four four. It's okay. It's like a real hop kick. Oh, my God. He's breaking the ankle. Rage our John Ding. Got him. Okay, okay. And he's probably, probably about to be good again. And he's probably, probably going to be kind of like a new character again, too. That didn't do much damage at all. Was he airborne? Dude, look at the, the chip off the heat dash. Put him in a rage. I think that's one of the biggest things. That's confusing to me. Got him to duck. The fact that you can knock people into rage on block. I think that catches me way off guard. I get hit by rage arts after that a lot. And now that I've said it out loud, I'm going to hit someone like that. They're going to knock me into rage on block, and then I'm going to rage art them. It's going to be sick. Here we go. JCR. Huge lead. John Ding with Rage. Heat's still available. Can he find a Heat Engager? Doesn't matter, though, because he doesn't need it because he has no greater recover. Down three, JD. All right, final round, game one. Eddie released that announcement when? Probably at EVO Japan. Damn, the pressure at the wall. Him. JD is blocking for his life right now. Oh, you can't block all those. All right. Heat and rage, JD. No gray. Oh, my goodness. Nice throw breaks, kid. Damn, was that a key charge? Did he key charge afterwards? John Ding. Imagine the situation, though, right? Like, you guys are friends, but what if there's only one sponsorship opportunity available coming towards someone from Korea, right? And this is what this is. Maybe this is the event that they're watching. You got to win, dude. John Ding is feeling it. I mean, he deserves to be. He's been playing really well.
This guy's pressing buttons. This is more like a rank match, not a tournament match. Either way, pretty damn good. Eddie's getting released in spring, right? Evil Japan would be too late, basically summer. What do you mean basically summer? Don't you remember early 2017? Also known as June. Oh no. Damn, he's and this is the thing, he's he's struggling to get him off him. It's like non-stop pressure and with with Dragonov, you have the one to one. I think you can maybe like do side step left up forward one. Like sometimes that helps out to get someone off you, but man, it's hard. It's hard to create space with Dragonov. John Ding is looking sharp. 442 into something. <laughs> I had a feeling it was coming. Ducks the high. Good call out, JD. Heat first here, huh? This way, at least he's in heat after the combo. Now chipping him down with the heat smash. Last pixel situation into what? Wow. Solid. Set point, John Ding. <laughs> JD was so fast in that while standing too, and it did not punish the whiffed electric. That was messed up, dude. Uh oh. John Ding rushing in. One more hit'll do it. John Ding 3 0s JDCR for game two with Reyna. Fang versus Shaheen. Cool. I thought we might see more Dragnov out of me today, but I guess Fang is the main main. Oh, hi, one Evil Japan, like 2017? I don't know if it was 17. Wait, did Lohai win in Evil Japan? I know you won Evil Vegas. Damn, that was beatdown. A lot of forward 2 1. Oh man, you know what? Knees Fang is looking warmed up. He looked a little hesitant when we saw him earlier against Ulsan. And it was a really slow start for him there in that set, but he turned things around over time. And then obviously we saw him during the break sitting at one of the stations practicing and clearly he's more warmed up with the character now. Oh my gosh, what a down for a two there. If he was a little bit later on that, it would have been a counter down by three, he would have been dead. Heat dash combo. Oh my gosh, into the running two and the full crouch down for to four. Very nice. Eight. Man, that kick is fast. Oh, interesting choice there. That was so far, too. Throw after heat dash. Nice. He's dead. Wait, that was a terrible combo knee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Forward, forward three as a tornado to send them back to the wall is kind of cheap. Yeah. Mr. President. Shaheen's got that size with combo technology.
Man. Both these characters full crowd down forward four is so annoying. Wow. Got him with the heat smash. Set point knee or game point knee. Got it. Knees built different. <laughs> Leo George. What's up, dude? I mean, he was just looking like his skill was different earlier, but nah, he's back. He's back. He's warmed up. Get ready for the next battle. What's up with the scores? What does it say? It's one knee. Wow, and low high now with Dragonov? Bro. Counter hit while standing too. <laughs> Is this like the fourth Dragonov we've seen in this top eight? JDCR, Ulsan, low high. Was there another one? It would be sick if Nee loses and switches to Dragonov. <laughs> like this dragon off fella is strong or something like if you have basic tekken you can play dragon off and even i'll say it, even if you don't if you're like a red rank or lower pick dragon off you'll have so much fun <laughs> look at this okay chance for need to make a hundred percent comeback using his rage mode still has heat available up three combo what are we doing here interesting damn the up four four good call out You hate down back deepest four it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous that move should be like three frames slower or do uh, yeah definitely they're not going to change the way it, the way it looks when it hits is sick like don't change that just make it way slower so people can actually see the damn thing coming man that wild standing one three from fang is hella good too Wow, he went for armor, but the down for two beat the start of the armor. Now he has a chance. <gasps> Didn't know the right combo to get there. Oh, he should have won. He should have won. Oh, and he tries the heat first cancel. It's punishable knee with the shoulder. Smart stuff. Yeah, Lohai should have won that round. That was a huge error. Damn, denied. Beautiful back Kenpo. Dude, Nee knows this matchup so well. This was the Nee versus JDCR Rev Major matchup back in like 2017 or whatever that was. Right? In that matchup, he was back Kenpo. He's stepping. Dragunov's running two. Guess real life. All right. Dash him down two. Final round. Game two. Nee on set point. Stay on the winner's side of the bracket. Wow. 2-1 to the 2-1, huh? Get it out of here. Mm hmm. Another huge down for two for low high. This time we're going to get to the wall. Heat burst combo. Oh my gosh. Guess the balcony. Do a heat dash, please. Oh, it's not, he's fast. not going to kill. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Need just threw it away. Ay, 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 ay. Tied up one apiece. Yeah, Lohai's played Shaheen, Steve Fox, and Dragunov. Get ready for the next battle. In just his first two sets. Final game. Round one. Fight. Steven Briner, okay, but not amazing. 
says all the down players. Wow, back Kenpo, nice. This is winner semis, correct. Winner of this guess the winner's final against John Ding. A beautiful back four three heat engager down three closes it out. Low high with Dragonov. Damn knee, why aren't you switching to Dragonov too, man? Ooh, baited. Four three four with punch, good to go. What 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 the hell need? <laughs> Did he just do up three into Oki into nothing? Heat first combo, easy here. Doesn't keep it easy, but gets it done. Good block and the launch. That was a big call out for the down back three there and it paid off. Woo, that was a sick combo with the spike into the back four off the dash, off the crouch dash. I don't even know if it's intentional with the way his combos have been so far. Throw breaks good. Both of them with rage. Low high, less health. It's tense. Is he gonna look for a down four two again? Holy moly, okay, chance, big chance. The down back three plus four, good luck reacting, you better guess, set point low high. Uh oh, knees in trouble. No throw break on the one plus two. Where was he? Try to arm or gets thrown. It's guaranteed. Back four. Down back three plus four. Pixel. Pixel. Are we going to get a heat activation? Down back three instead. It beat it out. It beat out the armor. Here we go. Final, 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 final round. round. Throw race good. And the back one check. Real tense now finds the counter. Life bar is basically even. Second hit got him. Full crowd down 4 4 makes it working out. They're still keeping it even. Both players still have heat available. He activates first. Timer's two thirds of the way down. It's gone basically. Finds a little back in confirmation though. Chance doesn't get the dash. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Low high still has heat. Still has heat. He's got to activate. He didn't activate. He got the one to one heat engager. Ten seconds. The back one plus two. Low high clutches it out against me with Dragonov. What a set. I just want it to be as simple as possible to start and make sure everything's working. Here we go. JDCR versus Ulsan. Round one. Fight. Damn, start of the round, down back three plus four, huh? Mm. Man, he is jabbing like great. This is the thing, Ulsan, when he's playing at his speed, that feels like Tekken 8 to me. In Tekken 7, I kind of thought that he would get ahead of himself. But I feel like that play style kind of fits Tekken 8. Oh no. Get back on his wall. Down 3, 2, 1 plus 2. Mm -hmm. Damn, JD answered back, but that heat smash gets some health back rules on. He's got another chance now. 
Throw break, no sir. Mmm, that was a sick whiff punish. Whiff the down for two. Here's a heat smash for you. Oh no. Screw you. Bad news, Old Son's controller is broken? What? What's he playing on then? I mean, he might switch to this controller. This controller is looking pretty good. <laughs> One of his buttons not working. Well, as long as the three and two are working, he can play Azucena. It's totally not true. You need running three two, and you need down forward one four. <laughs> Good call out, duck while Sand two's there. A beautiful. That was really clean. Why is he bodying JD with a broken controller? This is the power of Azucena. It's a special style button that was broken. Now he has to play professional style, damn it. <laughs> Man. Same kind of issue that JD's faced now, right? When he lost to John Ding earlier, it was from constant pressure out of Reyna. And now losing to Ulsan, it's constant pressure. You know what move JD doesn't use? I forgot the notation, but Dragunov is that one like weird kick move where it like counters high punches. You know what I'm talking about? I haven't seen that move in forever. I actually don't know if that's a high count or a high end mid count or what. Down four three. I'll check in a second. Eight. The mix into oh my goodness the running three two. He's gonna do it again. Jab jab jab, bro. <laughs> Look at this character makes you duck, bro. Like have you ever seen JDCR duck like that multiple times? Damn it, no duck that time when he needed it. Back keep as four as input. Thank you. JDCR looks a little frustrated. That time, size to right. Down for two for the whiff punish. Yeah, when JD gets to play offense, like, look at the damage that Dragunov dumps out, but... Not getting to play a lot. Ulsan is really good at stealing back his turn right now. JD can heat dash here, yep. Ulsan's gonna have a chance to do the same in a second. As long as he doesn't get launched. Now he's got Heat Smash. Yep. Oh my gosh. Down back three plus four, bro. Just do it. You know, finna down two. Nah, man. Finna down back three plus four. It's a much longer sentence, but let me tell you, it works. That's so ridiculous. Ay ay ay! Caught him coming in with the down for two. Look at the health he's gonna regen here from that gray. Step was good against the running two as well. Oh, I love it too. Like he knew in that situation he couldn't get any more guaranteed damage on his back, and then JD's gonna turn around. So he's like, all right, running three two. Give me a little bit of chip too. Like take the guaranteed damage plus the guaranteed chip essentially. One two one. Dashed into nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> wow. Wow. Azucena saving the day. Tiana's Cafe, bro. That was the last hit of the Heat Smash. I've never seen that. I've seen the Running 3 2 beat stuff out, but. Man, again, size up right heat smash. He's done that twice in just these, this game, and that's it. 2 0. JDCR out of the tournament. Ulsan moving on to top four with Azucena. Daylight savings just hit. It's 3 a.m. now. It was just 2 a.m. What happened at 2 a.m.? We didn't even get 2 a.m. It's 3 a.m. now. Damn. 
I started the stream at midnight. It's two hours and nine minutes in, and now it's 3 a.m.? Come on, bro. And knee with Devil Jin versus Mulgold's Azucena. Hey. Oh my goodness, the electrics. Okay, okay, knee. Why Devil Jin against Azucena, though? Like, I can imagine Devil Jin against other characters, sure. But against this character, oh my goodness. Seems like it's hard to deal with this character with Devil Jin, I feel like. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the opposite. It's working out in his favor right now. Round two. Fight. No 2 a.m. left in song. Best I can do, 3 a.m. Take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Hell sweeps good. I guess that's the real thing, right? Like, no matter what character you use, you're going to have to respect this hell sweep. Bro. You know, honestly, though, if I'm losing to Azucenas and I have the capability of playing Devil Jin, yeah, I'm picking Devil Jin, bro. If you, if you are able to execute with Mishima technique, how the hell do you not play Devil Jin at this level? Bro. What in the world? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> is that even what he wanted? Damn, triple fake Weibu into Hell Sweep. Surprise heat smash. Not too much of a surprise, but backdash off of it for the electric three round straight. Devil Jin for knee. All right, Mulgold, bring out the Claudio, bro. Come on. Oh no, he went to stage. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, Mulgol really wasn't playing very hard. As in, like, he wasn't playing very fast. It's like he was respecting the electric too much. He wasn't pressing his offense. Round one. Fight. There you go. Get back on that running 3-2 pressure. And knee, we've already seen. He did it three times in his first set where he sidestep ducked the running three twos. And you can see him now, he's already starting to look for the sidestep left. But not in this position, you're not. Oh my goodness, up four. I don't care what you're gonna do. What a use of armor there. Floated out of the air too. All right, can we get enough damage here to the wall for the wall combo? No, he's short. And it hits. Bro, the damage. All right. Needs less heat smash, too. <laughs> you thought I was done with the Tekken 8 BS? Surprise, surprise. Hit that button. Heat smash. Oh my goodness. All right, that's, that's Mulgold's kind of round right here. And honestly, Mulgold should have won the last round. He just miscalculated the wall distance. Mm -mm. Yeah, Mulgold playing much faster now. I like it. Damn, the jab, shimmy step to bait out the side step into another running 3-2. I like it. Boom! Heat smash. Damn, look at him. Fearless. Damn, and he not only side step duck, side step low parry. So that's such a great option, right? If I'm going to side step left and duck, I'm going to duck with down forward. Damn, great armor usage from Mulgold here. Good choice to stay down there. Avoids the guard break scenario. Wow, that low beat the jump. Cool. And the throw! One game each. Azucena. Mulgold is stressed. <laughs> Final game now, Nido. 
Gonna stick it out with Devil Jin. Coliseum of Fate. Yeah, game one, Mulrold was giving me way too much space to play with. He's like, hey, you wanna practice your mission execution and pressure me with your offense? Sure, go ahead. Can't defend against that. And now in game two, he's like, all right, how about I just do running three two? Damn, that was sick. That was intentional. Forward, forward, three, mole gold. Nicely done. Running slide. We've seen a few of those today, too. Back to the wall. Crouch underneath. Gotcha. Try to step. He's dead. Mole gold. Four, four, four. Back swing blow. Hi. Oh, never mind. Just four, four, three. That's all I need. That was a beat down round. All right. Not looking good for knee here. Knee fans in shambles. Running three, two. That's what happens when you go right, Kenny. You see that? Damn! Was that the heat smash? Or was that just fly? Still has a pixel up for heat. And look at the run 3 2 pressure. Perfect. And did get to her back that time. Throws working out, and it's enough. Set point for Mulgold. And he looks like he's going to barf in his own hands right there. Okay. Here we go. Can he close out knees Devil Jin? Good blocks. Good defense. Damn the Wavoos. Get off. He ducked the high just jab punish. Out of range. Oh my gosh, he's gonna hit. Not gonna kill though. She still has heat smash available. Use the heat dash instead. And he should be able to close out the round and he does. Alright, it's not over till it's over. Again, the throws, bro. He landed three throws a knee. It's pretty ridiculous. Why? This throw system sucks. Wow, and that will be that. Knee's going to go out of the tournament at fifth place. To Mole Gold. Oh man, when we look at this bracket, it's gonna be nuts. GG's. Get ready for the next battle. Coffee mirror match. Here we go. You don't think anyone's as old as Knee? <laughs> that would be impossible. How could anyone be as old as Knee? <laughs> All right, I'll just send a mirror match with KDF. Mull gold in the gold. Oh my gosh, dude. Mull gold's use of 443 is intentional. I questioned it earlier, but now that we're towards the end of this top eight, I'm, I'm a believer. I think he's doing it intentionally. Yikes, dude. This is beat down. Forward, forward, three. Hella worth it. I mean, it's not even that it's hella worth it. It's that he keeps hitting it. He hits it like it's Claudio Twin Piston. You know, like, yeah. I want to use this when it's guaranteed. Damn, Ulsan didn't even activate the heat there. He tried to, but he got hit out of it. Chases the heat smash with the heat smash. That was tight. It's a circus. Yeah, it's Cirque du Soleil, dude. Hey. Sideways, though. Heat for his beautiful. Could have heat dashed off of that, but didn't believe it. I think if he heat dashed off, they might have even killed. Wise rip. 
only streaming this on Africa? Why is Rip only streaming the Africa TV Tekken League on Africa? That's an interesting question you got there. Hey. Wow, didn't con what? <laughs> that was interesting use there of the running three, but not the two with it. Final round, game one. Hey. Bro, nice. All right, Mulgold, you got to come back in ya. Rage mode spends the heat already, though. Seems unlikely. Okay, heat's gone from both now, though. Mulgold still has about 15% of rage life. Third hit, high counter hit. He might kill with this combo, dude. Wall carrying the rage art. Oh, no. Just went for that. Doesn't matter. Gets the finish anyway. Yikes. Went with the risky stuff. Ulsan didn't duck it. Instead, he swung at it. Got counter hit. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What up, Mog Dash? Now, oh my goodness, dude. Both of these guys are so good using 4-4-3 forward, forward, as a whiff punisher. Ooh. Damn, the heat smash. And Mulgold just has made the right decisions in the clutch. Jabs are out of the heat smash. And he just knew that was possible. Like, personally, if I saw that whiff, I'm not touching it. Yeah, if you guys are new around here and you want to not have your bright screens all white and everything, you want dark mode, hit S for cinema mode. It's also, I think, believe, I believe it's next to your full screen button. So cinema mode is what you're looking for for dark mode. Yeah, S on your keyboard for cinema. Double rage. Heat Ulsan doesn't even need it. Down back four. And that's a beautiful thing, too, about having a heat smash threat. People are less willing to duck against you. Assuming you have a mid heat smash, right? Bro. <laughs> it's, the hit rate of these forward forward threes are crazy. How many Azucenas? Three out of the top four Azucena, by the way. We got Mulgold, Ulsan, and John Ding. All rocking Azucena. And then you also got Ulsan with uh, Dragonov and Lohai with Dragonov. So the top four, we've got three Azucenas, two Dragonovs, <laughs> and technically a little Reina with John Ding. A little Claudy with Mulgold. You surprised not a lot of people are playing Fang though? Fang is good. They're just better. Like me played Fang tonight, and then he decided that wasn't going well enough, and he switched to Dragon. Well, he switched to um, Devil Jin. I think Nii is just playing too many characters right now. Still learning the game, obviously. But Ulsan tying it up one apiece. I gotta say, whenever I see Azu Center Mirror Master though, my brain kind of zones out automatically. Like, yeah, these are going to keep running 3-2 back and forth, down forward 1-4, blah, 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 down back 4, 4-4-3 four, four, with punishes. Yeah, they're all still learning, of course. Yeah. Dragnom has tracking, so the high level can be exploited. Yeah, tracking plus also get off me is kind of difficult. Johnny used Reyna and he beat the snot out of JDCR with it. Beat him two games in a row really bad. 
against JDCR's Dragunov. It's like watching tennis from the middle. <laughs> watching Ozzy in a mirror match. Finally, forward, forward, three gets blocked. One, two. How about one, two? One, two for you. One, two. All right. Four, four, three blocked. One, two. Running three, any heat smash into throw into running three, two. He smashed back at you, double rage, throw works out because, you know, sometimes they just do. That's that's the worst part about the throw system, right? Throw works out because sometimes they just do. Like, that's the reason. It's not because he's incapable of breaking the throw. It's because sometimes they just do. And I don't even mean because he didn't hit the buttons together or anything, right? I just mean that, you know, sometimes there's another button that was there and made it near impossible for him to actually break it. Oh my gosh. Got him. How are they going to... You know, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know if they're going to change this character or, or if they want to change this character. They want this character to play like this. And obviously, there's one more patch guaranteed to happen before Evo Japan, right? So are they going to touch this character? Are they going to touch Dragunov? I don't know. How to send in heat sucks? No, nah, you just got to watch John Ding play. John John Ding with her with heat activated makes things uh, a lot more interesting. He uses her uh, dry brush. <laughs> and then it's, it's, all, it's all kinds of fun. Set point for Ulsan. Is it the character or the game or the system? This is how Tekken is played at Korean level. I mean, this is just a rare matchup where these two guys beat everyone else and now they're here against each other. Doing like similar stuff, to be honest. Running 3-2, Cotter moving, look like walls in the way. Doesn't matter. Why Why'd you just do Rage Art, brother? Did it work? Oh my god, Mulgold. You blew it, bro. You blew it. It should have been final, final round. And instead, Ulsan is going on. To the top three. Deanna's Cafe. All he had to do was Rage Art. I thought the wall was going to get in the way and mess up the Rage Art for the combo. And you know what's crazy? He actually has done that multiple times in this tournament. There were multiple combos where he could have used Rage Art and he opted not to. If that thing falls over, it's going to be a mess. Potentially on some electronic equipment. Here we go. Game one. Winner's final. John Jing versus Lohai. It's also a giant bottle of water. If you look at it. Perspective. Crazy. We're hoping to see the rain again. We, in, you might get it because this might be a long set. Let's see. One one punish jumps in the back turn. Hit confirmed. Oh my goodness. Damn, no high this time. Well, here's the mid for you. John Ding first round. Stance in your face. Everyone freezes. Damn, you can see like the gears in Lohai's brain turning like, I need to figure out what he's going to do with this character. Interesting down jab check there from John Ding. Now heat timer draining down. Are we say heat smash or heat dash? Neither. Heat dash combo running two. Yes, sir. 
Lolai, one apiece. Man, that move looks good. What's the notation for that one? The the Shaheen one where he spreads his wings like a bird. Wow, slide mid activation. Man, that high crush kick, super good. AK was using it last year at the IESF finals against Atif actually. This is the first time I'd seen a Shaheen use that move a lot. The heat engage Shaheen swing looks lethal. Yeah, that heat engage. That's no dish. I don't know what it is. Gotta play this character. Hey. Beautiful, beautiful. Got the block and punch on the forward 4 3 that time. And Lohai, despite losing that first round, brings it back three straight. John Ding. Sticking it out, though, just switching the stage. See, so this you're not going to be able to do with the TWT. You know, somebody asked me earlier what I thought about the stage rules. And honestly, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about it. Like, it was pretty annoying to see Infinite Stage all the time. But now you might just get random to stages that do not favor you. <laughs> like, if I'm playing against a king and they get the uh, hard floor break stage, then we, I ran them again to get that stage again. I'm like, come on, bro. Sneak one plus two. Random in this game is not really random, yeah. Mott, Mott's AK's coach. Told me he started using the high crush kick to counter Moyle's excessive use of jabs. I mean, it makes sense that that's how he's using it. Just the high crush in general, and it's super effective. Raven on descent is subconscious messed up. Mm. Stupid sweep. Damn, Aloha is just dominating John Ding right now. It looks like John Ding is kind of... I don't want to say confused, but... He doesn't know what to do with his offense. Hey. Wall booming. Wow. Nice drive rush. <laughs> Damn, John Ding stretched us. All right, I got this. You think John Ding does push ups in between his tournament sets? Damn. Back swing. Mm hmm. His, honestly, the only reason I even asked that is because the way he stretched out looks like his muscles were tight. <laughs> Link to heat engage, a guard break. Crack. There goes the gray. He's wearing Wade's vest underneath the shirt. Imagine one time he just drops the weights. I'm like, what the hell? He's been carrying weights this whole time? Orbital with the pixel. Oh my, bro, what's happening? Heat death, look at the amount of gray. Good block, clutch block from low high. John Ding went for it. Rolling up the sleeves, here we go. Final round, game two, needs this one. Mm-hmm, good patience. Eight. No way, he got him. Is it enough damage? It should be Tiana's Cafe. It's not enough. Wow, run up low and John Ding hangs on to get game two. Low high was face down feet away there. Oh, <laughs> Tiana's Cafe. Tiana's Cafe.
That's a Street Fighter Super right there. Tech Roll Rage Art. Has Low Eye stayed in Shaheen the whole time? Hell no. He beat me with Dragonoff. That set was sick. And yeah, he also played Steve earlier too. He was losing with Shaheen. Switched to Steve Fox. Got it done. background chat is getting you i know right it's my neighbors they're coming up the stairs they got their pitchforks out to get me evicted good block you see lohai mainly playing shaheen yeah shaheen's definitely the main he's the carry it was his main in tekken 7 too right like he played a lot of steve at the end too a lot of brian at the end but in his prime it was shaheen Wow. You hope you rock some law someday? I played Lohai at Evo forever ago. And I knew he was going to beat me, but I was like, yo. When I sat next to him, I'm like, yo. Would you want to play law against me? And he's like, ugh. He didn't want to do it, but he did it anyway. And he beat me with law in the mirror match. Damn, look at that. Drive rush, both legs, boom. But then, yeah, he played me and beat me with law in that mirror match at Evo on the stage. But it was cool because he beat me in the weirdest way. Like, he would hit me with these single flip kicks. I'm like, why did you flip kick there? And I never understood why. But he knew every time I was going to duck. And I kept ducking for it. What up, Crimson Alpha? Hi, Crushed. Are we going to be able to watch this bot on your YouTube channel later? Of course youtube.com level up your game make sure you click subscribe there's always atl vids coming up there plus our own tournament vids are gonna be coming up there maybe some morning bread and butters one day who knows good jab check man johnny he really needs to close this one out did lohai notice me ducking into the match is it just instincts he hit him from the beginning and it was like, he knew what my timing was before he played me. That's what it felt like. Oh my gosh. The hop kick, yo. Loha is so good at adapting. It looked like John Ning had taken full control. Running to Ender. Mm -hmm. But here we go. Final round, game three. Good block in the slide. Doesn't get the conversion. Another slide. I don't know if that was an input error or what. Might want another slide, but he's in trouble. Wakes up with the button. Power crush doesn't work. Heat burst doesn't work. Damn, but the heat smash does. The think of the sequence John Ding just did there. Power crush, armor. Heat burst, armor. Heat smash beats armor. Like he did those three moves back to back to back. Right? If you had hit a button, basically in the first two, you're dead with that much health. And then for the third one, if you had tried any armor of your heat burst of your own, you lose to the heat smash. And now Lohai, instead of going to Dragonoff, is going to bring out the Steve Fox. More Steve Fox. Damn, Steve Fox. In the winner final. Hit a button, die, block, and all get chipped and die. Mm hmm. Exactly. It's a very technical way to play the game. John Ding, I think, adapts very fast to games and characters. Yeah, right now, the way this is going, though, I think John Ding's got a huge advantage. Damn. Duck for this, homie. Holy beatdown, Batman. Steve's groan when he dies is hella funny. She just kicked your ankle, bro. <laughs> Armor.
Ooh. Balcony break too? Yes, sir. Man, why can she cancel? Oh, step to the back. Didn't even get anything out of it. Armor gets wrecked by Heat Smash. And he's dead. Set point, John Ding. Should have went to Dragonov, homie. His Dragonov beat knee. Maybe he doesn't like it against Azucena. I mean, then again, John Ding ran through JD's Dragonov. But that wasn't with Azucena. It was with Reyna. It's over, dude. Just done. Free. See you later, Steve Fox. Not top five, not top five for once. Later. Johnny just naughty, yeah. Bad choice, Steve Fox, but what are you thinking? <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. No, it's not them, Horace. It's, it's not them. It's the Korean uh, venue. The sound is leaking through. But here we go. Lohai versus Ulsan. Good luck, Lohai. This time he brings out the Dragonov. That's what he should have did in Winner's Final. Yeah, it's a much better play. I mean, when you're playing at this level of the game and you got to play players of this caliber who are running characters like Azucena, what the hell are you going to do, man? Your choices are limited all of a sudden. <laughs> he smashed. Man, he had such a good round, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, screw Steve. I mean, he also says screw Shaheen. So like, why am I trying this out? I'm trying to play a fair, honest character against these characters that are Tekken 8 characters? Not to say that Shaheen is fair either. He's basically playing like an A tier character against like S tier characters, you know? John Ding is looking strong. It's awesome. Keep in mind, his main Eddie is also coming back in a month or two. I mean, do you think he's going to play Eddie if. Eddie is not as good as Azucena. You want to see someone hit the infinite? That would be sick. Count right again. Dude, what are y'all doing, man? Just back for three. Could have been heat engager. Could have been a chip situation. Got the heat smash anyway. Who did Nii lose to in losers? Mulgold. Ulsan beat JD. And Mulgold beat Nii. Nii used Devil Jin. And it started off good. I think he won the first game. But then Mulgold adapted and just started stepping on the gas with Azucena. Hey. Wow. That was not a great game for Lohai. He had a lot of damage done, big life leads, but he was like overly aggressive, right? Finding that balance between your own offense and defense, when to turn on and off, it's a uh, seems to be a really important part of the flow of a Tekken 8 match. Lohai looks a little mentally broken. But I think I think right now picking the Jaheen is the all right, all right. Refocus, recalibrate. Round one. Back to basics. Why is he using the one two one so much in Dragonov? It's one of the better uh one of his factor tools. To stop someone from continually pressing buttons against you. Against Azu Senna, just spamming running 3 2, then you can also hit her out of the startup a bit. So that is not a homing attack. It's got a giant white swipe of wind, but it's not homing, huh? It looks like a Tekken 6 homing animation. Wow. He's stepping. Damn girl.
Oh my gosh, that one too so scary. Damn, Ulsan. He was paying attention during the John Ding set. Man, watching them play is making me want to play right now. It's making me want to play Azucena. <laughs> No throw break, you know, because sometimes it doesn't. Nothing to do with the player skill levels. What a combo. Man, that's not the ender, brother. What are you doing? Bro. Oh, my God. He still got the round. And, yeah, this should be best of five. Yeah, I didn't plan on playing this morning, but you're firing it up. Yeah, right? Sidestep hop kick. Okay. We're going back to this wall. It's closer. Okay, calling out the slides here. Yeah, you can see Ulsan. He's positioning. He wants that wall boom. He smashed didn't quite get there. Throw break's good. Lohai's in trouble here. Doesn't even get to activate his heat. Two to zero. Ulsan in the lead. And now Lohai. What, what do you do? Dragonov didn't work. Shaheen didn't work. Shaheen was terrible in terms of uh, round count. But he's sticking now with Shaheen. I think Lohai should pick Azucena. You know? Ready for the next battle. It's a lot of learning there, though. Shaheen damage just ain't it. And you gotta do hella hard roots for damage that's hella droppable in tournament. Yeah, damage differential between some of these characters is crazy. Mm -mm. Can't beat him, join him. Tekken players would never do that. Remember Evil Japan 2020? <laughs> Shaheen's obviously still effective, though. We're seeing him here in the grand, in the loser's final, right? And he was just a winner's final. Although he got the winner's final with Dragunov, technically. Damage, bro. Damage. <laughs> Shaheen's got to do hella hard combos, and I'll just end up doing ABC 1, 2, 3 combos. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the same... I don't even know how to describe this. But, like, it, it gives me, like, Katarina vibes. Guard break's good. Ay, ay, ay. Depends if Pac-10 goes all in as a Senna 2. I mean, I think that we're probably going to see different regions favor other characters. It's, it's always about what players are doing what, right? Like... We would not be talking about Shaheen at all. Like, literally at all, if Lohai wasn't playing Shaheen. You know, right? Like, if Lohai instead of Shaheen was using Law all this tournament, we'd be talking about Law, not Shaheen. So it's always about the players. Damn, get thrown. Because sometimes they hit. Later, Arcade Ghost. Have a good one, dude. Currently, Pakistan favors Dragonov. Dragonov's hella good. If running 3 2 becomes duckable. You think we'll see less Azucena? Probably. Round 
Otif is basically running over everyone with the dragon over there at the moment. Yeah, I mean, do you think he wouldn't be able to do that with Azucena? Do you think he wouldn't be able to do that with Fang? You know, like, I feel like, yeah, dra if Otif wanted to run over anyone with anyone, he could do it. Playing Shaheen reminds me more of playing Katarina than Azucena does. <laughs> hey. Got him. Low high rage yards. No, he dropped Azucena. That's not my point. I'm saying, like, if he stuck it out with Azucena. Would he still body everyone? I think probably yes. Hey. No victor in this top eight. Nope. CBM used only Jin. And they are poking now. Going back to little tech and throw. Oh, I saw a hit. I saw a button coming out of there. No throw break for you. Got him. There you go, low high on the board. <gasps> Bro, what in the world are you doing, man? He's trying to lose? He's got a game, though. He's got a game. Counter hit and tracking throws need to go. I don't, like, I was talking about the, the tracking throws before, and... I don't mind tracking throws for totally generic grabs, right? Like generic one and two where you can hit either button to break it. I don't mind those tracking. But giant swing, muscle buster, all the command grabs. That tracking is crazy. Especially with the counter on top of it. Like sometimes you just want to do a sidestep jab. And then the giant swing, you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> It makes no sense. I mean, and like I said, I've talked about the throw system multiple times, but the way they went about it, like, yeah, we want to see throws be more effective in tournament, but this is like the worst way to go about doing it. Like what I'm saying now, half the time you've seen these top level players, right? All these guys in this top eight know how to break throws. And we've seen so many throws land, right? It's like, okay, cool. We get to see the throw animations again. Fantastic. But what does it actually mean when they land, right? All it means most of the time is, Oh, I guess he was doing something because it's not that he's incapable of breaking a throw. It's that the game won't let him break that throw is basically what it means 90% of the time. It's like, that's not cool. It shows no skill or anything. It's like, oh, well, he threw at the right time and that guy happened to be hitting a button then. Like, it's not even as rewarding as like actually hitting a counter in someone. Like the way it was rewarding to time your magic fours before. Counter hit tracking throw. And it causes floor break, blast, and 6 to 10 combo, super whack, yeah. Especially throw time and counter is so strict. That's my point. Like, you're basically not breaking it. So, here in Korea, you're seeing Ulsan and Ni get thrown. And it's not because they're bad at breaking throws. It's because it's literally near impossible to do so. Right? It's just because the system of throws is just poorly designed. Like, they could have just went back and made some kind of hybrid between... Tech and tag two and seven required the right buttons. But instead they're like, no, we'll just make a bunch of bullshit rules and you know, whatever happens, happens. Maybe you'll get thrown, maybe you won't. Good luck. <laughs> That's basically where they left it. He dash Ulsan chipped down a lot of gray though. Will he find? Oh my gosh. The heat smash off the sidestep. He just defines it straight up. He's been looking for it. He's been targeting people with that heat smash all day. Man, huge lead. Ulsan set point. Hop kick from low high. Hop kick's been there for him when he's needed it. Low parry is good. And a heat smash from Olsan. 
Heat smashes are so funny. Why does Ulsan look so stressed this whole tournament? He always looks so stressed. Because he the thing I love about him is that he takes tournaments very seriously. Every time he's in a tournament, he wants to do his best. He wants to try to win. That's my favorite. And the Reyna comes back for John Ding. He's on the winner's side of the bracket. All right. And wow, Ulsan with the Dragonov. Bro, neither of them picked Azucena. <laughs> oh, man. Back 4 two, you can duck this high. I mean, down 4 two. Hey, beautiful outspace. They don't have to watch an Azucena more match. You give them a kiss. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I think they're both not wanting to play that mirror match on the other hand this is kind of better and worse <laughs> beautiful spacing man i'm telling you man for ulsan i think dragonov is a better character than his um azucena anyone else in chat actually like azucena i feel alone Rage our John Ding special, dude. Catches everybody. Got no one to hit the brakes. Four Dragonovs in top eight. Ulsan, low high, knee JD. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Why is no one launching that? Back 4 2 1, I've seen it multiple times today, and there have been ducks, but they don't launch it. Ouch. Ouch. No one likes balance games. This is true. Games that are too balanced are pretty boring. But then you have to have a, a villain that you're okay with. Like Akuma, he was a villain, right? Oh my goodness, just do it raw, <laughs> unbreakable, let's go. Damn, John Ding, man, using all the technique mechanics. First game, two games away from winning the tournament. But yeah, I was saying Akuma in Tekken 7, like it was... There was a lot of BS with that character, right? And a lot of it was damage related. And we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that works sort of deal. And like when you see it hit, you're like, oh yeah, it's going to do a lot now, right? Or when you see something happen, like it jump over or down three or down one, two, whatever. You're like, oh, here comes the big damage. When you're watching characters like Kunimitsu or Azusana, though, it's just like, oh, they're doing that thing that's safe over and over and over again. Like that's, that's a different kind of unbalanced that's not fun to watch. It's like the wrong way of making things busted. In my opinion. Got him. Forward, forward, two. Also known as a half screen teleport into a hit. Good luck. So to solve it, bring back Akuma. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. Like we had Akuma. In the last one, we, people were, we were still getting Kunimitsu, Kunimitsu mirror matches, right? John Ding's Reina sick. Yeah, two Mishima. All electrics, all day. <laughs> Got him. Damn, good choice, good choice. Don't let him set up for heat smash and just one three two. Hey. Smoke conversion? Nope. Bro, 
bro. He, <laughs> you know, he's pretty good. All right, I you know I was I haven't picked up Rainy yet, but watching that I'm like, all right, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Just do forward forward two. Don't even do any extensions out of it. Hey. Wow, good flash duck. Damn it, Johnny wants to hit Bun so bad and Old Saw's not letting him. Here we go, final round, game two. Get unbreakable stuff you really don't get. I mean, it's just unbreakable. They want more grabs to hit at any and all costs, you know? Having skill to be able to break a grab, we don't want none of that. That just shows player skill. We want them to get random. Make that grab unbreakable. Make it so that they, they even think about doing something else, then maybe they'll make the grab unbreakable. John Ding, way behind. Over the top, okay, step on it. Heat smash, you gotta do it, or heat dash. Here comes the dash. He's caught up. Anything in the rage art. Oh boy, Hell Sweep's gonna kill! Huge comeback for John Ding. Damn, when Ulsan, I don't know, man, he wasn't really pressing. Maybe he was scared of the uh, rage art. I don't know. Well, Daz is sending though, man. I just throw the running 3 2, bro. Just throw the running 2 3 2. If they rage art, it'll beat him. He's got to believe. Get ready for the next battle. Well, here we go. John Ding. Wins two, needs one more for the full sweep. He's only lost one game in the entire top eight so far. And that was to Lohai. This will be a 3-0. It could be. And you notice John Ding, the way he plays against Azusen, he's not really looking to avoid the running 3-2. He just wants to do his own offense. Ooh, speaking of his own offense, Step Electric. John Ding, Mishima Main. Bro, what? <laughs> I love it. Helsey Mix. He smashed from Olsan into the lows. Pixel, John Ding survives. Running slide. Ulsan surviving out here. Good duck on the high. Full launch. Mm -mm. Contesto. Contesto. Damn. Ulsan, lots of gray. Down forward two. Okay, with rage. Into the worst combo I've seen in this top eight so far. <laughs> rage art, does he survive? He does. He wins the whole round because of it. He should do the camera thing like John Ding did. Tennis Cafe? Tennis Cafe? All right, Ulsan, making it interesting. He hit John Ding with the John Ding, I know. Boom. Heat dash, pressure at the wall, gets smashed. Man, Ulsan's hit rate is pretty good. 
eat this electric though. Drop the combo. Man, that could have went bad in so many ways, but John Ding holds on. Running 3-2 finally hits. What in the world? That was so fast. Uh-oh. Bro, his heat smashes are tight. Johnning heat smash available. Hits the rage art instead. He's living though. But Johnning still has heat smash available too. Low heat smash. Doesn't even go for it. Wow, here we go. Tournament point for John Ding. Good duck on the grab again. Power crush right after. Big risk from John Ding. Uh oh. He still has plenty of life to work with here. Plus heat and a bunch of gray. He's in good position, actually. He's actually got the lead, technically, if you think about it. Heat for heat. Get armored. Rage art available. Scary moment. Holds on back and out. Uh-oh. John can win the tournament right here. Hold this forward, forward three. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Look at Olsan. He stole that one. I don't know if he meant to do that, if he meant to do running 3-2 on that one. Either way, it worked, and Ulsan's on the board. You think that can't be intended? I mean, the way he was smiling afterwards, it looked like he didn't mean it. Got your legs. Of course he's happy. He's still in the tournament. The tournament would have been over otherwise. Damn, girl. Oh, sidestep to realign for the combo at the wall and to run it through two. Beautiful. All right, John Ding need to recompose here. Sometimes, you know, you get so close to win the tournament and then it doesn't happen. It can break people. Hey, uh, perfect. Uh oh. Yo, this is turning around real quick here. If John Ding loses this game, does he... <laughs> if he loses this game, does he switch to Azusana for the mirror match? The throw. Oh, looks like you're hitting 1-1-2. Well, you're too good of a player. You deserve to lose. Man, so many armored sets from both of these guys. Heat smash again. Off axis and airborne, so barely any damage off it. Power crush is good. Didn't punish it, but doesn't matter. Quick, three rounds straight for game number four. We're tied up two apiece. John Ding and Ulsan. Final game of grand finals. Does John Ding switch characters? It's looking like he's going to switch stage. Gonna stick it out with Reyna. not gonna do the Oz of Santa Mirror unless he needs to. Maybe secretly he knows if he runs Azucena and it's a mirror match that the Nam Cops might take notice of Azucena mirror matches happening in Grand Finals. <laughs> so he's like, well look, it wasn't even Azucena. She's not even that good, bro. It was Reina Azucena. <laughs> you know? <laughs> leave my character alone to leave with Japan. All right, all right, let's see. Wow, good down forward too. Ulsan looks much more comfortable against the Reyna now. Yeah, and like I said, John Ding, he's, I've never seen him duck that run B2. And again, quick sidestep right into Heat Smash. Ulsan's landed that at least five times tonight, just in this top eight. 
Down for two start of the round. Guess I want to step left, huh? Bro. Accidental. And then another down forward two. Ul sounds like, yo, you're going to keep stepping left, huh? You're not even stepping left ducking, but here's my down forward two anyway. Heat dash combo, backswing, boom, perfect. And just like that, five rounds, six rounds straight for Ulsan. Why is he trying to sidestep? I mean, I don't know, because he's not ducking either. So he's going left, but not ducking, so he's not going to avoid the run 3 2. And the rest of the stuff he's supposed to step right for. And Ulsan is just on a tear right now. This is crazy. Mm mm. Yeah, I've been like, oh, dashing in his face, gets him to hit a button. Uh oh, that's at least seven rounds straight for Ulsan right now. That's a reset, grand finals. You really can't believe they left her the same from the beta, right? They didn't have to wait for the release. They knew from before the release that this character was going to be busted. They saw the Evo showcase with Arslan laughing his ass off while beating everybody. Is he going back to Reyna? No way, dude. No way, John. Dude, what are you thinking? Ah, Zeus, Senna, bro. Come on, man. What are you doing? You just lost like seven, eight rounds straight. Crazy decision. Reset grand final, zero to zero. Like, it's not even that... You know, Reyna, oh, I, I stopped doing XYZ. It was close. He's lost like seven to eight rounds straight. In reset situations and grand finals, there have been multiple times that people on, on the winner's side, they just come back and win the grand final to reset like nothing. This would be impressive if he's able to do that. It just doesn't look like it's trending that way. Down 4-2 all day. And he's got heat available here. Heat smash, huh? Uh-oh. Mix for the win? Yeah. <laughs> Smart choice. Smart choice. Big heat dash combo drop. Yeah, that was huge. Like, I was like, did he not want to do it? Did he want to try for the heat smash? I wasn't sure. Or maybe he thought that the heat dash combo wasn't going to kill. Nice again. Size the right down for two has been his go to. Size the right in general into button, right? Let's see if he gets the heat dash combo this time. There you go. There you go. Round three. Fight. ducking a lot after four for two. Yeah. Why not? Hey. These size up to crazy. They're, they're important. Damn, his armor usage has gotten so much better, too. Wow. He's going to the armor way more than I've ever seen him do it with Azucena. Man, that was crazy. He just stayed ducking. He's like, approach me so I can, I can launch you, please. Good block in the hell sweep off axis, though. Yeah, 
Interesting combo still has heat available. We see a heat smash. <laughs> I think we will. Ulsan wins another game. John Ding won the first round that time, so at least he broke the round streak, but it was a close round too. Switch the character, bro. There you go. Character select. All right. So he's given up the lead in the grand finals reset. And now he's going to bring out the Azucena for the mirror match. It's time. It's time. It's time. Our time is now. Who do I got for this? Right now, it's a coin flip. I think if John Ding had started to set off with Azucena, he probably would have won. But now that he's lost momentum and Ulsan has more for read on him and he has less time to adjust with the Azucena, it's looking like it's Ulsan's favor. Probably like 55, 45, maybe 60, 40 Ulsan right now. But Azucena from John Ding is a different beast. Everyone seems to have trouble with it. But the question is now, can he switch gears back to it fast enough? And Ulsan also just had a long Aza Center mirror match with uh, Mogul in this tournament too, right? So he has a lot of experience in the mirror match just from today. Pick it up. Do we get a wall boom too? Looks like we can get to the other wall instead. Mix time. Yep. First round for Ulsan here. You're taking the kiss back. You got your Aza Center mirror match. It's okay, only three Azu Senna's in the top four. We're only gonna have uh, bug fixes for the patches, right? No need for balance changes. Chop Con, what's up, dude? Wow, and again, the heat smash. He just spends it. And, and honestly, why not? What are they gonna do? Heat first? Can't, it'll beat it. If it trades, fantastic. Good chunk of damage. Ooh. Sidewalk's good here. Face first, wall boom. Small gold was fourth place. Yeah, he should have been top three. He blew it. He just didn't hit the rage art in his combo. And three rounds straight for Ulsan. It is one game away for Ulsan to reset and win the tournament. John Ding both eyebrows up like, damn. Character select again. Who will it be? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh, shirt's coming off. Damn, I can't believe he uses the buttons. If I had that many muscles, I'd just rip it open. Get ready for the next battle. Very evasive uppercut. How fast does send his heat smash? I lost my freaking tabs, dude. I'm so mad. I had it open. I gotta go find it now. I had a little spreadsheet of all the heat smash data. Here we go. Johnny, remembering how to play Azucena. This would be a sick comeback if he could do it. Oh, boy. Come to ass, though. Mm -mm. Nice whiff punish there for the wall splat. Solid one, two, catalyst. <laughs> what? Why did why did you spell it like that with the S at the end? That's so funny. Catalysts. Hey, that was it. Did you see that? Size of left duck for the running three, two. Worked out that time. Damn, Ulsan is dominating, bro. He's lost one round in the last, what, like five games? He just woke up. It's all good, dude. Tournament point for Ulsan. He's literally lost one round in, I think, the last five games, right? Let's 
someone call an ambulance, but not for Ulsan. Oh my goodness, what happened? Oh hell no, GG, tournament's over. Heat smashed, Ulsan wins the open tournament with Azu Senna. And honestly, that was the best his Azu Senna has looked. Look at John Ding's run. 2-0 Mulgo, 2-0 JDCR, 3-1 over Lohai, right? And then he started off decent with the Reyna. And he really, you know, picking, Re picking Reyna again in the reset grand finals, even though it's just for one game, not a good idea. Terrible idea. I think he should have actually switched to Azu Senna when he was down two games in the first set of grand finals, right? At least warm it back up. Switching gears is always difficult. And then it was just momentum building for Ulsan, right? Like game after game after win, he was like, oh, wait, I got this. And he literally lost one round in, I think, the last five games. One round in five games, all he lost to John Ding after that. So well played to Ulsan. And Ulsan, if you look at his run, he lost first round to me, two to one. Then he beat Shine two to zero, beat JDCR two to zero, beat Mulgol two to one in a close Azu Center mirror match. And then he beat Lohai three to one. Lohai has got to go do some homework for Azu Center for sure. And then he gets the reset on John Ding 3 2. It was close, but John Ding was pretty stubborn about sticking to the Reina there and it cost him. Uh, and then 3 0, of course, in the grand finals reset. So shout outs to Ulsan, ATL open bracket tournament champion. John Ding, second place. Lohai, third place. Mull Gold, fourth. And then the legends, Nee and JDCR in fifth. And then CBM and Shine round out the top eight in seventh. Uh, crazy, crazy tournament, man. The low high knee match was super fun to watch. That was definitely one of my favorite Tekken 8 matches so far out of like everything ever uh, in Tekken 8 competitively. So shout out to those two for putting that match on. That was fun. All right. They're bringing out the placers again. Hell yeah. <laughs> John Ding and Ulsan. Top two. He's <laughs> switching the money. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's sick, dude. That's sick. ATL. Damn, the handshake and everything. These guys are sick. Thanks for watching, you guys. I think that's going to do it for us here tonight. Freaking TV Technique 2024 Open Tournament comes to an end. John Ding, nice one. But Ulsan, the champ. John Ding, second. Low high third. That was very cool to see too. And fourth place to Mole Gold. Everyone's still learning. Lots of stuff to learn in this game. We will catch you guys next time. Have a good one.